is a really quick little look at the Halloween section that I've got to show you in real life. I've been looking all over for Henry's, um, for my little boy's Billy and the Mini Monsters Halloween and he's clearly got it hidden somewhere. It's his favourite copy because the author's signed it and I can't find it anywhere so I can't show you that one I'm afraid. Um, so the Little Peep Through range is fantastic from the beginning of the book. So are you there, Little Bat? I can see your little nose. They're looking for somebody. So in this one, Little Bat. And it's never Little Bat, obviously, until they get to the end of the story and then they find him, which is lovely. They've got card pages, so they're not easily ripped. They've got lots of little animals and things hiding. So there's lots you can talk about what's on the pages. And they're just lovely little stories. So there's that one, the first one up. In the same range, we've got one from the um, Farmyard Tales, Poppy and Sam. So this has the duck hidden on every page, which the children love, and the parents. <laughs> and it's got Poppy and Sam and Rusty the dog. In this story, Rusty goes missing, I believe, and they're going to look for him. This one has a bit more of a story um, to read, a few more words on each page. Um, and like I said, still card pages, still got your little duck to find, but lots to talk about with the children as you're reading it. How many mice can you see? Can you find the squirrel? Look at the little eyes peeking out the tree, the spider's web, the hedgehog, what different animals can you find? Um, and like I say, it's a lovely little story. Um, it's got a few peek through bits here, a few holes in it. So yeah, look, has Sam spotted his snuffly nose in the log? No, it wasn't rusty. It was a mole popping up from its hole. <laughs> so yeah, that's that one. This is one of my favourites. My little boy never used to like doing any writing or anything like that. And then we got him. It was actually the dinosaur, one of these. And he loved it. And so it really helped with his pen control, counting, writing. So as you can see, you've got dot to dots there, which is helping with the pen control and the counting. You've got mazes, um, drawing the hats. So loads of different things, the shapes, and um, there are numbers in it as well somewhere. From, there you go. Count the cookies on each tray and trace over the numbers. So this is fantastic. So it's got slightly thicker pages than paper, literally write on it and they can keep doing it over and over again, giving it another go. It means if they go wrong, they don't need to have a temper tantrum because they can just wipe it out. <laughs> We've got little first colouring Halloween, nice first colouring book, thick black lines for them to try and stay inside. And really simple pictures, so it's not too tricky and overbearing for them. This is one of my favourites. So this book was released in 1977, is it? Oh my goodness, I'm such a geek with numbers. I can just always remember them. <laughs> and um, yeah, first published in 1977. One of the very first books from Usborne when it was a new publisher. Um, we then stopped publishing it and got so many requests for us to bring it back that um, last year, I believe it was, it was brought back into reprint. And so here it is. This is age 10 plus. Um, it's got lots of spooky stories in it, loads of different stuff. Um, so yeah, this is a really interesting thing. There you go, it's a sneaky peek at the contents page there. So that's for your old readers. The last one I've got to show you is good old sticker dolly dressing Halloween. So you've probably all seen these because we've got so many of them and we now do the stories as well. But you have your outfits, your stickers at the back and then your dollies to dress up in the little outfits. A little bit for the children to read or you to read to them about what's happening or where they're going. Um, and then, yeah, dress them up. So that is it for my Halloween ones that I've got to show you. Obviously, I've shared some pictures while I've been chatting um, of a few different ones. So please have a look if you want to see inside any. If I've got any more I can show you, obviously, will just ask away and let me know. Thanks for joining me. Bye.